Hey guys, it's Pox Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about gold bullion in Fallout 76. Pretty much what is gold bullion, all the gold bullion mechanics in the game, and a little bit about the, um, pretty much like how you can start getting gold bullion as well. Um, so first off, I just want to go ahead and talk about the general information um, about gold bullion. You pretty much can't earn gold, you, you can't earn gold bullion until you finish the end of the main quest line. Um, I don't really want to spoil the quest line in case somebody's looking into this and they haven't quite done it yet. Um, but just a minor spoiler, so go ahead and heads up, there's a minor spoiler for the for the end of the main quest line. Um, you'll essentially be given an option to split a uh, an amount of gold bullion between um, the raiders or the settlers or yourself. Um, and essentially, this will determine how much gold bullion you start the game with. Personally, I had already heard about uh, this prior to, to finishing the quest, so I kept the boolean for myself. And I believe that gives you a thousand gold boolean to go ahead and start off with instead of doing a half split. If you do a half split with whichever faction helped you, um, they get 500, you get 500. Or you can give 250 to the other factions um, and keep 500 for yourself. So you either end up with 500 or you end up with 1000 gold bullion at the end of the main quest line. And honestly, I highly recommend keeping the gold bullion for yourself. It did feel kind of bad in terms of like the roleplay mindset of like, you know, the settlers, they helped me out, they helped me get into the vault. I promised them a split of the gold and in the end I told them, go screw yourself pretty much and held on to the gold bullion for myself. But in a video game's perspective, you start with a thousand gold bullion, which is going to be really good for the grind. Um, so that's pretty much what I wanted to mention first. Um, and then we'll go ahead and talk about the caps. Uh, there is going to be pretty much caps for all of the currencies. There's a, a hard cap for how much you can get of gold bullion per day and how much you can have um, like total in your inventory at a time uh, per character. You can have a max of 5,000 gold bullion on your character at a time uh, per character. And you can only get 200 gold bullion per day uh, by trading in an item called a treasury note, which you get from completing events, daily quests. And um, when I say events, it's pretty much those events with an actual exclamation mark on the event. It's not just a regular event like defend the workshop. That's not going to award you the uh, treasury notes. And treasury notes dropped from quests with the exclamation marks vary. Like the amount of treasury notes dropped vary depending on the difficulty of the quest itself or the event. I mean, um, and essentially what you want to do is once you get these treasury notes, uh, you want to go ahead and take them to gold press machines and then you want to go ahead and process those into actual gold bullion. So you can stack up as many treasury notes as you want in your inventory, but you can only trade in um, up to 200 gold bullion per day as your hard cap. Um, once a week, I they don't really mention this in game, but once a week you can actually buy 300 gold bullion from an NPC named Smiley, and I'll go ahead and show you that on the map, and we'll go ahead and go through all of this and I'll show you. Right, and so Smiley, the NPC that sells the 300 gold boolean, is at the Wayward, which is a bar, um, and it pretty much costs a thousand caps per 50 ingots, uh, and that's like pretty much how he sells them, and there's a weekly limit of 300 boolean that you can buy from him. So once you buy 300 once a week from him, that's all you can get, and that um, stacks with the 200 um, max. So like, let's say today I turn in 200 gold bullion worth of um, treasury notes and I haven't bought the 300 from Smiley yet. You can still buy the 300, netting me 500 today. And then um, it resets every Monday, I believe. So uh, every Monday you can go back to Smiley and do the once a week purchase of 300 gold bullion. Um, but that's gonna cost you a total of 6,000 caps. And also Charisma will not lower the amount of caps it'll cost. Uh, it's not like a normal bartering. You pretty much have to do it through a dialogue option. So 6,000 or uh, 1,000 caps per 50, it's flat, there's no no charisma, amount of charisma will help you make that cheaper. Uh, but let's go ahead and go through all of that um, just to demonstrate now. Alright, so first things first, I want to go ahead and show um, the events that I'm talking about. So you see this is an event 
icon, event breach in clear. Um, from my testing and from some research, these ones do not drop treasury notes. So when I first started playing and I unlocked the treasury notes, I started just doing all these random events. Some of them dropped them, some of them didn't, and I figured out that it is because they need an exclamation mark. So something like this won't drop in a, uh, treasury notes. Alright guys, so an event like this, event guided meditation with the exclamation mark, this is what's going to go ahead and give you treasury notes as a reward. And you can see the difficulty is easy, so this is probably going to yield the least amount of treasury notes, because um, you'll just get an increased amount of treasury notes based off of how difficult the is. Um, and then you'd go ahead and join the event, complete it, and then upon completion, you'll see treasury notes pop up on your screen like a legendary item would. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you guys that because I'm going to do a primal cuts in about a minute here. One thing to note, another thing that you can tell whether or not it'll give you treasury notes is like this event right here, you can join for free, no caps, no cost. Um, but something like this, that's also an event, was actually going to have a join cost. I'm not quite sure why they have it like that, but if you want treasury notes, just make sure you're joining the events with the exclamation mark and um, there's no cap cost associated to the fast travel. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and do the Primal Cuts event. This go uh, Right now it's meet week, so there's going to be Primal Cuts event starting every 15 minutes. Um, so these will actually count as events. You see the exclamation mark, no join cost, and difficulty easy. So this will actually give us um, treasury notes. So I'm going to go ahead and sh show you guys the completion and what it looks like when you actually receive um, the notes. All right, so event is completed. I went ahead and had a solo this event. I'm gonna take all there. All right, item rewards. You can see there's two treasury notes for the easy event. And uh, usually it'll pop up on screen, just like a legendary effect would. Um, like this legendary item right here. And then, oh my God, legendaries. Normally, I would see the treasury notes pop up, but I guess not this time. Alright guys, so the wayward is going to be right here, right above the Overseer's Camp, and right below Vault 76, along this like kind of river right here. And so you want to go ahead and travel to here once a week, and this is going to be unlocked after you go ahead and beat the main storyline. So once you're eligible to actually getting gold bullion, um, then buying gold bullion from this NPC locked. Alright, and as you enter from here, you can go ahead and go up to the stairs. And like, I don't know why they didn't, like, it's not mentioned at all in game, but yeah, this NPC right up here, you just talk to Smiley. Come right over, friend. Avail yourself of and like, I, I feel like without any research, if I didn't uh, look into it myself, I wouldn't know at all that I could actually buy bold gold bullion from this guy. So we can just say, I'm interested. Wonderful. And right here is all the increments that you can buy them at. So you can pay 1,000 caps for 50, 2,000 caps for 100, 3,000 caps for 150, 4,000 caps for 200, uh, so on and so forth until 6,000 caps for 300. And that's pretty much going to buy them out for the week. There we go. So 6,000 and boom, plus 300 bullion. And this will reset every Monday and you can buy from him once a week. Uh, you can buy a max of 300 from him once a week. So the first location is going to be the foundation, and in a recent update, traveling to the foundation is actually going to be free. Alright, and once you arrive at the foundation, we can go ahead and I'll show you where the bullion machine is. You pretty much want to just walk in through the main door. And you want to sprint all the way up to the main entrance into the foundation uh, hall. And right here is going to be the gold bullion machine. So we can go ahead and go up to the gold press machine. And you can see I have 14 treasury notes from just doing events. Um, and this is what it's going to look like. And I believe uh, if you're ever looking for where it is in your inventory, um, it's going to be under the misc tab and you'll see treasury notes right here. Um, but yeah, we can go ahead and convert this into gold bullion. So 14, you pretty much just times 10 and 140 out of the 200 for my daily cap. There you go, and we can only do 60 more for today, and then it's going to reset. Uh, that's going to be the gold bullion machine at the foundation. I'll go ahead and show you guys the gold bullion machine at Crater now. Um, Crater is going to be up this way. 
All right, and then now that we are at Crater, you want to just walk up the main steps, go through here. And for Crater, I don't like going to Crater because you have to go through a, an additional loading screen to get to the gold bullion machine. But essentially, you have to actually go inside uh, Crater's core. Whereas the foundation, it's like right outside going in, uh, right outside the foundation hall. Uh, for Crater, you gotta go inside and then the gold bullion machine is there. So we can come through here and on our left is going to be the gold boolean machine kind of tucked into this corner and it's pretty much going to be the same thing you can convert your treasury notes and in, uh into the gold press machine it's got the same cap 200 max per day um but just you know depending on which um which one you've got reputation with you can use either of those and i think those are the two locations for gold bullion press machines i think there might be one at vault 79 but traveling to vault 79 requires caps so you might as well go to either crater or to um or to the foundation um and in terms of daily quests uh because you can get gold bullion from daily quests or events um, daily quests, you can get a daily quest from Crater, you can get I think one or two daily quests from Crater, and those pretty much just help you with Crater's reputation with the uh, raiders. You can get one or two daily quests from the, or I guess it's like, okay I think each of these actually have one daily quest, sorry. So you get one daily quest from the foundation, and you get one daily quest from Crater, and then you can get another daily quest from the Overseer's home. You can go down into her basement, or when you fast travel there, you'll get a quest from Davenport, which is pretty much a uh, her robot helper. Um, and then there's also going to be, uh, if you're ever looking for what daily quest you may have already picked up, you can go to data, and then you can go to daily, and all of these cons are considered daily quests, and they will award gold bullion. Uh, or the, the treasury notes. Alright guys, and since we are at Crater, I'm now pretty much going to go ahead and showcase Vault 79 itself and uh, what you can buy using gold bullion. And uh, if you don't have a, a location that is already close to Vault 79 that you can like be at to make the travel cost cheaper, then you could go to Crater and then go to Vault 79. Using the perk card, it only cost me 13 caps. Um, but yeah, I don't know if they're planning on making Vault 79 free to fast travel too, but it would be pretty nice. Um, but let's go ahead and go there. Do keep in mind that this fast travel location is only um, unlocked after you finish the main quest line. And then, alright, and now that we are down here, we can go ahead and door. And this is Vault 79. I was kind of blown away when I actually looked through the glass and could see all the gold being made. It was like, wow. Or maybe not being made, but organ. But yeah, you pretty much want to go over here to the left and you want to talk to Regs. And you can go to R to trade gold bullion. And this is going to be all of the gold bullion items. And as far as I know, no level of charisma will reduce these prices. They are pretty much flat priced. Um, I'm going to go to organize by notes and pretty much all of these here. Um, I'll maybe see if I can link something in the description that will give you a full list of all items provided um, or uh, sold for gold bullion, but I can kind of quickly go through it. We have a bunch of gauze um, pistol blueprints here, um, secret service armor stuff, we got plasma caster um, items here, there's some protective lining, there's going to be a lot of secret service lining, secret service armor, secret service armor mods plans. And I'm a power armor user, so I'm specifically going to be using my um, gold bullion on T65 power armor plans. Um, these things are very expensive, and this is why I highly recommend that you keep all the gold bullion for yourself, because the T65 jetpack is 2,000 gold bullion. Like, you'd be halfway there. Um, if you just keep it some, uh, if you keep the full amount for yourself. And thorn armor stuff, there's some... Vault 94, uh, Max, like Warglaive stuff, like there's just a lot of different things here. Um, and you can also use gold bullion to buy things like lunchboxes, there'll be a gold bullion vendor at each of the um, 
at each uh, foundation and crater and i believe as you progress the reputation with them the shop may offer more and yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions comments or concerns please let me know in the comment section below any positive or negative feedback also let me know that way i can improve I hope you know everything you needed to know about gold bullion and now you know how to get it and like what you can do with it and I just hope the video was helpful. Um, but yeah, that's me pretty much it. Until next time guys.